Have you forgotten the prophecy of the forest? What's a prophecy? Yes, I remember. Long ago, a great wind whispered a secret to all the animals of the forest. Huh? One of the creatures is a special gift. The gift to protect the forest. Then what are we waiting for? We better ask them. Yes, child. I think it is time to sound your horn and call our animal friends. We need to learn the secrets before it's too late. Miss Sprig, have you ever met a possum? I think I'm about to. Yes, that's a possum. He's a very clever little fellow. He doesn't look very clever to me. Well, Sprig, just like you have tender roots, the possum has quite a tender heart. Instead of fighting, he protects himself by playing dead. So the possum teaches us to use strategy to help solve our problems. Is that the secret of protecting the forest? No, I don't think so. But it might help us find out the secret. Watch out! Spring, he didn't even touch you. I know, but I would have heard if he did. The porcupine is like my father, Chief Palatine. If you treat him well, he is very friendly. But if threatened, his quills will stand straight up. I get the point. <laughs> the porcupine represents faith and trust. He reminds us that we can accomplish great things as long as we truly believe we can. Who knew we could learn so much from animals? Sprig, just look around you. From the gentle strength, the deer, to the fox that moves unseen, like the wind through the forest. Every animal has knowledge to share with those willing to learn. Do you know our friend, the skunk? Well, I know enough to stand up when from that skunky snap. Oh, Sprig. The skunk only releases that foul odor if he believes he's in danger. His smell and his spray teach us about respect. What about respect? Well, we should respect nature, or it could turn against us. So now do we know how to protect the forest? <laughs> Not quite yet. But it seems to me we're getting closer to solving the mystery. Well, hello there. Hey, Sprig, look who I found. Grandmother Willow, Pocahontas is being attacked by a snake. And I'm sort of scared of snakes myself. Sprig, don't be afraid. All creatures of the forest have their own special beauty in the world. It's not like for the snake. Some animal populations would grow so large, they would threaten the life of the forest. If you'd not do what you must to survive them. Oh, if it's such an important job, Maybe you should let him do it. But somewhere else, <laughs> anywhere else. Yes, our friend does need to continue his journey. No, Spring. The snake reminds us that when something happens to us, we should learn from it to make us stronger down the path. We're getting closer, Grandmother Willow. And we don't know the secret yet. It's not too late, child. Don't lose hope. Nico. Of course. He has shown us the final part of the secret. Keep him a 
away from me. He's always stealing my best acorn. You see, Miko came to me for protection. So even though each animal protects itself, it takes all of us to protect the forest. You learned all that from that silly old raccoon? Sprig, behave yourself. The prophecy said that one of the creatures of the forest has a special gift to protect it. That creature must be us. Humans can destroy the forest, but we can also save it. The earth is our one too, and if we take care of it, it will take care of us. Hey!